Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, we are here on the mission Old Comrades. Getting our buddy Nikolai to give us some great guns. Uh, what do I got? I got a Glock. Let's go Deagle. Why not? Now I'm going to say, hollow points are nasty ass rounds. How do I conceal it? Oh, okay. Bring the package. On my way, Captain. But yeah, uh, hollow points are evil. What happens is, for those of you that don't know, when a hollow point round hits you, it essentially uh, explodes inside your body and turns into shrapnel and just shreds you from the inside. I believe the U.S. military actually banned it for, uh, what is it, like, uh, not human rights, unnecessary suffering or something like that? It's not to say that if you get hit with the hollow point that it, you can't be saved. It's just it's freaking brutal. I should have probably got a okay. Are these guys all packing suppressors? See, Nikolai would be a great uh, addition to the Payday Gang. Check your shot. Butcher gets us to Hadia. We need him breathing until he does. Retaliation. Today, the pain and suffering is huh? not our Butcher is running. We gotta get him. Okay. Hi. See, this is why you go for the Deagle. You know, I feel like the Russians would have figured this out by now. Like, they would have found this bar and just found all these insurgents just chilling in here. This is way too much hardware for these guys to be hiding, especially in Russia. Okay, that right there should be pissing off every Russian cop in the area. And now, with, okay, this is such a level of bullshit. They would not be having guys with AKs popping out like this, especially this many, this many guys, this many guns. Russian intelligence would have been all over this. Right now, I believe we're in Russia. Okay, never mind. Should I throw it out the window? There we go. Threw it out the window. We got it. I'm good, sir. Target's on the move. Riverside. Get off the room. Yeah, Russian police, Russian military should be all like, I don't know if the military would immediately, but yeah, Russian police should be all over this. God damn it. Alright, cool, I killed the enemy RPG. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, so the police should be all over this. And not only that, so far, far as I'm aware, there's never been a terrorist attack like this on foreign soil. Like, you've never seen. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Um, I, I, I turned him into a, I don't even know what this is. Okay. That might go into the thumbnail. Anyway, as far as I've ever been aware, in a first world country, there's never been a terrorist attack of this nature. Like you've never had entire damn near militia of foreign insurgents popping AKs and everything else and just raining hell in town. Like, especially like Piccadilly. Total bullshit. Never seen anything like that. Uh, the most I think I've ever seen or heard of was like that one shooting in California where it was a man and a woman and they went into their like former job, at this point now, former job uh, with AKs and they just started shooting the place up. Now, granted, oh, that's one way to stop him. All right, yeah, grab him. Let's go. And anyway, yeah, it's it's easier for like small insurgent, like on a like a single level, like one or two people, to grab a gun from a gun shop and then commit to some kind of shooting like that than it is for shit like this, like these guys to just have a whole arsenal in a basement and start a war. On, in a foreign country. 
And the fact that these guys even got into Russia, the FSB would have been all over this. This would have never gotten this bad. Hey, uh, Nikolai, you maybe want to restart the engine? This guy wasn't that bulky. See, there they are. It took them long enough. Yeah, Russia finally got shit together. Where was the chemicals? Up your fucking Russian ass. You can't hurt me, you weak piece of shit. But you, Captain. Oh, you can do better than that. You think I forgot your face, SAS? Huh? Or you? Sergeant. Did we see each other before? Get your head in the game, friend. Sergeant. We need to break this bastard, Captain. We're about to. Nikolai, where's the package? Falling in now, Captain. Okay. You got a Nikolai. You got a package. You come back here. All right? Oh, well, we got a surprise for you, motherfucker. Sergeant Garrick. Package is in the back. For negotiation. That works. Perhaps the butcher will have a change of heart. Mama, what's happening? Shh, it's okay. Please, just don't hurt my son. We'll do what you say. Here, Mama. Don't be afraid, huh? Your mama's brave boy. Where are we going, Mama? We are going to talk to some men, and then we will go home, okay? Yeah, that's all that's gonna happen. Don't worry about it. What you're doing is uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. What we're doing is unforgivable. I'm sorry, what does your husband do for a living? You want to remind me of that? I demand to know why we are here. I love how you're playing the innocent victim. I mean, granted, they didn't do anything, as far as I'm aware. Oh, yeah, I'm in. But, uh, you want to say that we're the bad guys. Kind of funny what your husband does. Oh, you, you didn't think we knew. Off. They're off. What did you do? Your, your own son is here. Though it seems like the family doesn't know that he's a terrorist. Shut up. What have you done? Oh no, they knew. You knew. Never mind, they knew. She just said you'd keep this away from us. No, you knew. Pick it up, Sergeant. Sure. Which I think I have to. Last chance, where's the gas? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 leave him, leave him, leave him. Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. You're at Cathedral. No, I am not, I swear to you, I'm not. The gas I mean, you're gonna be one less son. You're gonna be short a son here in a minute and you will tell us the truth. You're too late to stop him. Go, Sergeant. Save some fucking Russians. General Barkov already be dead. Dear. He's going after Barkov. With him. You take a minute. Take a minute. Russia and the West will go to war and leave our land alone. Hmm. I told you. Shot him in the balls. He didn't need him. She's upset that her husband no longer has testicles. Let's start the world war. You got it from killing first. Oh boy! Oh wait, I gotta go in here. Oh boy, sounds like we gotta go stop. Uh, no more Russian, or no, no, not no more Russian. No Russian. That's it. Ah, I fucked that up. And there's a fine line between right and wrong. Let's see. There's nothing wrong with shooting a man's balls off, especially if he's a terrorist. For the love of Russia, destroy immediately. Yeah, that is right. Oh, 
Hey. It's a checkpoint. For us. What is there a difference? Yeah, good point. They're just interested in anybody who's not them. What's the plan? Shock and all. What if they don't move? That old hole's gonna break loose. Three seconds. That's plenty of time. God damn. They don't seem to really care. Holy shit, Captain. Nikolai said they'll break him. What if they follow? They won't. Boss. What the hell are we doing here? I'm not cleaning up a mess. With women and children. They were leverage. They were hostages. Will you take the gloves off? You get blood on your hands, Kyle. That's how it works. It's dirty, but you do what Where you gotta do. Draw the line, Essa. You draw the line wherever you need it, Sergeant. At the end of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. Yeah, I agree with him. Now, if you're having second thoughts, then I can do this on my own. No, sir. No second thoughts. Good. Now let's get out here before he kills Barkov. See, here's the thing. I agree with Price. Just for the fact that it's like, okay, cool. We did take hostages. Yeah, it was dirty. And they were innocent. But. But. Was it better to use them to break the Butcher so that way we knew where Hadir was. And, po and possibly stop World War III. Or do we play completely clean. Let him kill Barkov and then start World War III. Risk a woman and her kid, but then save millions of lives. It's it's that argument of the few over the, what is it like the few over the many or something like that? Sacrifice the few for the many, something like that. It's quiet. And granted, we didn't kill anybody. We just shot a guy's balls off, so we did nothing wrong. Now, I've mentioned this before. This is actually realistic when it comes down to nods. You are never going to use a sight while using your night vision. Simply for the fact that it screws up your uh, depth perception. And on top of that, look, look that's on his face. You have to essentially press your your scope against those nods. It's never going to work. You're never going to get that working right. Am I supposed to shoot? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm curious. If I take my nods off, does he take his off? I don't think so. I'm stuck on a log. We could just open fire. Alright, we're gonna follow Price. Keep it quiet, keep it clean. Right, going dark. Nighty night. Price, you shot him in the dick. That's my man. You see me and Price, we get along. We know what we're doing. This is Barkov's mansion? God damn. I am in the wrong line of work. Let's see what we're up against. What we got, boss? Main house looks quiet. Got movement in the clock tower, church, and pool. Rock down. I'll provide overwatch. Be killing lights now.
We're gonna be oh goddamn. Throw your rope and get down there, cop. Bryce, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You chill the fuck out, dude. Look, I killed the lights, now I have a clear way going through. Is Alcatal maybe now shitting themselves because they're like, hey, who just turned out the lights? Maybe. But Oh Alright, so far so good. Careful, they're outnumbered, but you can try and disengage if things go loud. Well, I killed the lights. So for the most part I should have a clean way through. I forgot also how to check my Oh, no. There we go. Keep it dark, keep it quiet. Sounds like a star is called hostage. See if a deer is there. He could have Barco. Search by the clock tower for the prisoner. I think I got him. Or we can go in the way he came, because chances are his friends are waiting. We'll move in, take up. Oh, there's another one right there. I don't want to start breaking windows. The last thing I want is them to freak out. There you go. Nice and quiet. Now, this is another bit of bullshit. This gun would not be this quiet. But I have a hostage. Find out what the hostage knows. Any intel could lead us to Barkov. I won't betray my family. We'll bust it's done in. We still have to check the pool and church. Alright, let's go for it. But yeah, um... Suppressors do not work like this. Hence their name, Suppressor. They simply suppress the noise of the gun. They don't completely silence it. So whenever movies make them, you know, this quiet, movies, video games, they make it this quiet, this is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit video game. Like, this is not how it works. It makes it a little quieter, yes. It's more so for, like, ear protection than anything else, honestly. You really can't... Oh. Shit. Okay. That was my bed. I didn't check my corner. That's always check your corners. You can kill the lights to the building if you use that fuse box. Go kill. They're clear. There's a skyline over the pool. You can use it to get to the person now. Oh. Where? Oh, uh, I've never done this before. Like, I've done the pool house, I've just never gone, done this way. Alright, where's our Terry's? It's another hostage. See if they can see the pool. Gotcha! Nice I hear you, I don't see you. No one else is in here, I think. We're clear. Oh, okay. See if the hostage can still talk. Yeah, good use for a pool. Easy to clean up. My father. My father. Shit, Captain. The hostage is a Barkov's family. Barkov's men came into Hadir's house, and now he's in theirs. Get to the church now. If they have a hostage, he won't last long. Please don't leave me! Okay, bye! Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Whoop. Clear. That guy a little dirty. Not much activity at Barkov's main house. You can bypass it for now. I'll 
Do they see me? Ah, good job, asshole. I think there were two of them. I want to make sure this is clear. Clear. Fuck. Never mind, not clear. Fuck. Need disengage. So far, so good. We're still dark. I did kind of stir them up a little bit, unfortunately, but we're in the clear. They know somebody's here, though, so they might start getting nervous. Alright, there you go. I could shoot the gunner. It's locked. Try and find an alternate route. I don't want to bash the door, they'll hear it. All you have to do is tell me where back of it. I want the location. That's what. There we go, we got our way in. Why do we keep grabbing him by the face? They broke him. He's saying third floor, four five one. It's all we got to go on. Get to the top floor and you stay. I'll meet you there. All right, let's go for it. That way. All right, that enemy Vic is still patrolling. It's all light. That Vic coming down this way? Oh shit. There we go, their gunner's down. There we go, we're clear. That went better than I thought it would. We got rid of their patrol. Oh fuck, Flash. Shit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Fuck. And I set off a car siren. God damn it. Oh my god, the flashbangs! Alright, night vision off. Alright, so we're keeping it quiet. I'm moving up to the second, the, well, the main floor. I'm stupid. Okay, moving in. Right, I'm inside. Head to the third floor. We need to move. 
Alright, so far so good. I have to be careful though. Where was I getting? Oh, from behind maybe? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna circle around the building and try to kill the lights. Okay, so killing the power to the building wasn't a viable option, unfortunately. And somehow these guys keep seeing me. I have no idea how. And, okay, okay, we're getting surrounded. Fuck. Yep, naturally. Okay, so, so far the method I've been playing- Fuck, never mind. Hold on, now I gotta go nuts. Shit. I'm just gonna kinda guerrilla warfare it a little bit, poke around each floor. Poke and prod. Best I can at least. I would have liked to keep this quiet, but me initially coming to this house and pissing them off didn't work well, because I thought that I had to come here. And instead I kinda screwed myself in the process. We gotta get to the third floor, where are the stairs? No. Alright. Oh, how dear you little butthole. I'm moving to the third floor. Copy. Check fire. I'm up top. Where are you? Oh, there's Price. Hey Price, thanks for the help. Hey, Hadir. Are you protecting him? No, we're taking you. Come. Wait, I'm not your enemy. I know where the gas is made. I have the location. This is Barkov's chemical factory. Yes, I'm taking it down. We're still on the same side. Here. Not like this. Then help us. Please help my sister. Listen. Get down! Something. Oh. Russian military is here. What the hell is that? That is a helicopter. The kind of hind. There we go. I still have to kind of call bullshit that the helicopter is kind of able to see us. Like, it just knows where we're going. That is such movie scripted bullshit. Oh. Good night. Even though Hadir is an asshole, at least he's on our side. Oh no 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 no! Get away from the grenade! Fuck! Second floor. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so I'm gonna say right now, there's a major issue with Price. Major issue since we're kinda of pulling a black up. Very clear British flag on his helmet. If, say, one of these guys, if these Russians are packing, uh, or not even packing, but wearing some kind of body cam and, uh, oh, okay. If they're wearing some kind of body cam, some kind of, something to kind of show, oh, okay. Long story short, if they can see that patch on his helmet, NATO is in some big fucking trouble. The UK is going to be in some big fucking trouble. Alright, let's go.
Fuck, 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 okay. Of course, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it back to the Russians now. You wanna shoot at me in close quarters? Whoop, oh, never mind. Can I hurt the helicopter a little bit? Run, 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 run. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Tunnel, tunnel. Wait, where's the tunnel? Oh, it's over there. Shit. Oh, excessive. Wait, what? Northern side? Oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Fuck. Oh, we made it. Kinda. Maybe. Clear your head, son. Little more closer. You helped me attack the lab, yes? Fight! Not on your life. You're going down for this. Captain! This was a one way trip, Adia. You knew that. But you'll do the right thing, yes? Boss. Tell me we're gonna finish this. We need support. Let's hope we get it. So, we're kind of finishing it. Move. Captain, please, give Farah the plans, tell her the truth. You'll have a chance to tell the whole world. I don't care about the world. I did this for my sister. He's still an asshole. Friendly air traffic approaching south of 180. Call sign is watching one. Copy. Slaswell. What's she doing here? Ah, I smell blood. Lab intel. Keep it on you. Yes, sir. It's a proxy war, John. We're all just pawns in this. You speak for yourself. Hand him over. Yes, sir. They're gonna hand him over to the Russians. They're gonna kill him. He's not making it out of this. He's dead. The deal is yours. Intel's mine. Whatever you've got going on here, I can help. I'll call you if I need you. He doesn't want the CIA involved. Or at least it doesn't seem like he wants them involved. I know how this works, Captain. Not this time. They gave Hadia to the Russians. They'll kill him. If he's lucky. Otherwise, they'll probably just torture him. Looks like you saved the free world again, Captain Price. Hadia located Barkov's lab in eastern Georgia. Gas factory. He had plans to destroy it. Hadia's fucking crazy. Yeah, but we're a little crazy, aren't we? Sometimes it takes it's crazy people to change the world. Affirmative, sir. With your help, we can finish what he started. You're a good friend, Captain. And the worst enemy, I'm sure. 
But I do not cross borders and invade. I defend my people here at home. Well, sometimes the best line of defense. It's all there. Plans, personnel. I see. A militia with no ties to the West could carry out this mission. Exactly. And I don't blame the terrorists, wouldn't I? I knew I could trust you. If Barkov's there, he's mine. This is a covert operation to destroy Barkov's gas lab. Nikolai's on the inside. He'll provide the explosives. Two teams will infiltrate. Garrick and I will plant charges on the pipeline. Far and Alex, you'll get a detonator from Nikolai and rig the main furnace. When the charges are set, get a safe distance and bring it down. Now, my only concern is us blowing up this gas factory. Would this cause any kind of long-term ecological issues? Or rather, I should say, environmental issues. Also, this is another thing. You have what I believe to be... I could be wrong. Correct me, fin correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. What appears to be a uh, an American Bradley. This looks like a Bradley. And we're in Georgia, which I believe, I believe Georgia is part of Russia, if not a separate country. But this right here could piss off the Russians themselves. We're fighting Russian military. As far as I'm aware, we're not fighting an independent force. We're fighting Russian military. This would piss them off. I got the best weapon of all. I just push a button and everyone goes boom. Hey, you look like a problem. And you look like a problem. Oh, lucky. Isn't this a deer sniper? Oh wait, oh, nope. Tag, you're it. Who's next on the... Nope, okay. Shit list, that's what I was gonna say. Who's next on the shit list? Oh, you lucky bastard. And your luck's ran out. Oh, there goes your head. You popped like a grape. You lost an arm. Let's see if we can make a Lieutenant Dan. Oh, there you go, Mayor Lieutenant Dan. Oh my god, I love the gore in this game. I am so glad they did not tone it down. It is just beautiful. Turning people into jello. Wait, yeah, this in its like we're worried about World War Three. This right here could be World War Three. Like, there is so much in Call of Duty that is such bullshit. Oh, we just lost our Bradley. And I died. There we go, dealt with the bad dudes. There's a helicopter and it's gone. But yeah, okay, see right here, this in of itself is a problem. We now have a Bradley that is sitting here just hanging out smoking. If the Russians later on were to roll in after the battle and see this Bradley, their first question would be like, hey, why the hell is an American APC chilling on our soil? We were told that this was the work of Al-Qatal. Or Farah's military, right? We were told this was terrorists. Why is American assets on Russian soil? So that in of itself would cause so many issues. Um, that being said, like I said, Call of Duty is like, oh, we're worried that we're gonna start World War Three. We gotta, 
we gotta keep it quiet. But then, okay, here, we're gonna use American assets to go ahead and blow up the enemy. Now, again, it's not to say that we've never used something like a Predator drone or a quick flyby in order to take out targets. Sure, that shit happens, honestly, all the time. We just don't talk about it. But when something like this occurs, it's a little... A little harder to keep quiet, you know what I mean? Now, if we were using a technical or something that Forest Force would typically use, that could be a little bit... That could be of a different story. Oh my god. Damn it. Alright, so that Russian aircraft is still a bitch. Oh my god, I would love to hit the pilot. It just keeps moving. Gotcha that time, bitch. Pop a frag. God damn it. Reload. But yeah, like I said, politically speaking, this is so much, there's so much bullshit to this. Like, we should have started World War III so long ago. Russia would not take any of this lying down. Now, what, uh, what is it, Garrick? What Garrick and Price did with the Butcher, that's slightly a different story. Now, again, it's absolute bullshit that a terrorist cell would have all those weapons, all those manpower. Sorry, all that manpower. Correct my grammar. They would have all that manpower, and the Russians would never know. That's absolute bullshit. But to have it something quiet like Price and Garrick go in, grab one dude, beat the shit out of him for intel, and leave, that is realistic. That can happen. What is this? There we go. Yep. Oh my god, I just need to clear the way. Oh, that was a miss. God damn it. Alright, so we're back here. Tried grenading, didn't work out as well as I'd like grenade, 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 grenade. Uh, oh, there you are. I was looking for you, and I did. Why did that work out so much better than I thought it would? Can I not go up that way? Okay. Oh, we gotta go this way, okay. Sneaky little prick. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ah, fuck. Moving up, second level. Level 
All right, cool. So we made some progress. I'm not dead yet. Oh, this is our boy. Yo, Nikolai, what you got for me? Start the chain reaction. Load the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. Alright, let's do it. Why help us? Barkov is a stain on my country. It will not stand. Spasiva, Nikolai. I'll take the rest to Price and Sergeant Garrick. See you on the other side. Alright, let's rock. Oh shit. Anyway, shit. That flash is nasty. Burn, baby, burn. The disco inferno. Ooh, grenade. Now see, this I believe is illegal. In in terms of international law, I'm pretty certain this is illegal. It's in, because it causes unnecessary suffering. So, I'm pretty certain incendiary rounds like this are illegal. Alright, uh, I mean, he was fighting, so... Not illegal. That that actually should have been legal. Come on, hello! Hi! Oh shit. What do you, what do you... Uh oh. Oh, outie, outie! Grenade. Grenade. Run. God damn it, of course. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, run. Ooh, okay. Come on, dude, this ain't Rocky. Come on! Saying he's gonna break me. Uh, you you first asshole. Oh wait, I got him. Like I said, you first asshole. Whoop. Oh they're friendly. We've got a problem. What is it? Echo, this is Axel. How copy? Send traffic at you. Good eyes on General Barkov. I say again, Barkov is moving to the helipad. Echo is approaching the furnace now, Axel. Set your charges and move. That bastard's gonna try to get away. The furnace is through here. There's the door. On it. What? You wanna? Oh, there you go, Farah. Wait. Oh, this is the first. Oh, wouldn't this be maybe toxic? We want to keep our gas masks on in here. What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. It do what? Ignite the furnace. But you'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been an assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. He's American. Born leader, Farah. 
Say the word. He's got that crazy look in his eye. Go. Yes, ma'am. Also, apparently Alex is somehow still alive or some shit. Didn't they give him, like, the Winter Soldier treatment? Here we go. Bravo, Echo instead of Sperta. Lara's going for the general. Roger Echo, fight into the pipeline now. Set, Sergeant. No more release now, huh, Captain? Not at all. <sighs> Starting with that sniper. Now, yeah, so if Alex is still alive and the Russians found him, they could use him as proof that foreign forces, other than terrorist insurgents, were on Russian soil, saying that saying that Georgia is part of Russia and not just within their sphere of influence, but even then they could say that the West is trying to spread their influence by force. So, Alex simply being alive and ha them having his body, it, that could cause problems. Unless, like I said, he has the Winter Soldier treatment, he has no memory of who he is. Fuck. God damn it. Alright, I'm going to try to hang out here with my minigun and spray them a bit, because I thought I had it clear. Now, all Garrick is missing is a friggin' juggernaut suit, we could be powering through dudes. But yeah, a lot of bullshit goes on in this game. And I mean, to be fair though, if Russia wanted to start World War III in this series, right? God damn it! Always one guy I miss. Always one guy. But yeah, if Russia wanted to start a third world war, right? Again, talking Call of Duty, because everything going on nowadays, I gotta be specific. In Call of Duty, if the Russian government wanted to start World War III, effectively what they could do is what Russia did actually in the real world. Not starting World War III, but starting the conflict that we're currently seeing today. Uh, they recognize the Donbass region of Ukraine as an independent, you know, as an independent entity from Ukraine, and they're in there as a security force, quote unquote. Even NATO and the UN was like, yeah, that's bullshit. Like they, everyone called out bullshit. Like, no, it is not independent. You are simply not manipulating. What's what's the word? Fabricating. You're coming up with that on your own. That is all of your own bullshit. So, yeah, if a country wants to start a war, they could just pull some bullshit like that. So, Alex simply being alive, Russia could very easily be like, Yeah, we have justification for war because your guy is actually alive and he's American, so fuck you, West. How are you alive? How are you alive? What do they make you out of? What are you made of? Now, another thing that would be probably clever, too, is if we were using Russian weapons like AKs and shit. Because if we're using NATO weapons, that would also be evidence enough against us. Here we go. Yeah, you're gonna want to step away from that, dude. It seems like, though, Russia is trying to disown Barkov. The fact that they're ignoring him. Now, this could be another thing, too. Russia could probably know that Barkov has this factory, and the fact that he's screaming at Moscow, it's very possible that... Oh. Yeah, that fucked up. But yeah, it's very possible that the Russian government is trying to disown him, and they're like, yeah, we know what's happening, and we really don't want you around anymore, so... Good luck with the West there, bud. Oh, how did you... Oh, bullshit. I've 
Got you that time, fucker. You. Yeah, me. Go for the throat. Go for the throat. Oh, or the hip. I'm still here, Fara. Still alive. Still killing rats. I am Russia's protector. Uh huh. I'm so sure you are. Yeah, I've heard enough. You're just another egomaniac. I, I appreciate the patriotism and nationalism, but you're still an egomaniac that's out of your goddamn mind. Yeah, from that height, he should definitely die. He should definitely be dead. But I would have taken the gun and put one in his head just to be safe. Captain, Barkov is dead. Roger that. Alex, charge is set. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three, two, one. But yeah, like I said, it's very likely that Russia was trying to disown Barkov. Because them having a chemical plant like this is in of itself illegal. So even though the West was doing illegal shit, so was the Russians. So to kind of keep everyone's hands clean and to say nothing's happening. Disown Barkov, let the facility be destroyed, the West gets away with it, and Russia gets away with it, and there's no war. So, th this was basically just both sides just washing their hands and pretending like nothing was happening. That was basically what this was. Tea? Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Yep, there you go. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? Exactly. He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General I think Shepard, we always say that. files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakaya wants Barkov's throne. Naturally. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. They give me what I need. Isn't Zakayev Russian separatists? So why would they want to join Hadir? Oh, unless they want to kill Hadir. Maybe that's what they mean. Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John McTavish, SAS. Hey, so there's a boy. Why? It's classified. <laughs> I guess he dropped the soap. There he is. Simon Riley. Ghost. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we go to you. What are you calling this task force? One for one. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I know that they, I don't know why they advertise it now as Warzone, which is a little annoying in my opinion, because it's like, okay, so is it Modern Warfare or Warzone? A little, little annoying. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I've enjoyed playing through it despite some of the technical bugs that we've run into. But I do love the Call of Duty series of than Vanguard. <laughs> anyway. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you like it, leave if you like it, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to come hang out with me, talk about the new Call of Duty, the current Call of Duty, come join us on our Discord. Link in the description below. 
And as always, guys, any activity you leave on these videos helps out tremendously with the algorithm. It keeps YouTube's algorithm pumping out our videos, and I really do appreciate the help. So, if you want to come talk about, talk about that, if you want to come tell me about Call of Duty, if you agree with my opinions of whether or not things were certain, but what certain things in this game were real and what wasn't real, leave in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I'm sorry. I know I am twisting my words. I'm just sleepy as usual. But I will see you around the next one, guys. Bell icon, subscribe for more, and I'll see you around the next one. Thank you so much. And I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic